This is a Bicron portal monitor I picked up from an eBayer for a few hundred dollars. These things have been showing up on eBay lately, selling in the three, four hundred dollar price range or so. Typically they're being sold as is uh, with sellers that really don't know how to uh, get them operational or don't have all the parts or equipment to get them operational. So they're being sold as is and typically very few people do what I just did with this one. This one was sold without all the parts to make it operational, but most of it was there. All I really needed to do was include the PMT and wiring to get it up and running. It was taped up real good and included a nice Bicron housing with it as, that screws right onto the light pipe. And therefore, I figured resurrect it one more time before I cut it up like some of the other plastic that's sitting around here waiting to get... Uh, cut up. I've got lots of blocks of it laying around and it's going to become some of my one inch, one and a half inch, two inch, three inch or so rounds that I sell and also include in my custom built scintillation detectors and in some of the equipment that I do repairs on. Uh, for comparative purposes, I set this thing up alongside with a 3M3 Bicron uh, sodium iodide, thallium dope sodium iodide probe. That probe is hooked up to a Ludlam Model 3. It's on, on one of my IRAD bench 14 pin bases. And the other one's set up on a Model 18. So we're going to switch them both on and do a little bit of testing here. The Bicron's already been set up and it's running at about 15,000 counts per, in, per minute, the uh, scale is going to read about 1.5 K times the 10x scale, or 15,000 counts per minute. The portal monitor is going to come up and running right at about 20,000 counts per minute. That's at the 2,000 count mark, or right about there, times 100. I'm going to back off the sound on this Model 18 because that can just get very irritating. That Model 18 has got a loud speaker. Model 3 is a little bit less irritating. I, I think that uh, adds a little background music for our demonstration here. We're going to introduce a thorium ore sample to the Bicron probe. And let's turn the scale up to times 100 and move in the thorite ore till we get to about the same meter level or 5k on this meter level, which will be 500,000 counts per minute. That's about three inches away from the bic Bicron probe itself. It's registering about 500,000 counts per minute. And now we'll come over to the portal monitor and I'm at arm's distance on it and we need to turn the scale up on this thing because it's already just going bananas with it. Okay. I'm going to bring this sample into about three inches away. I'm about three inches away right now, and we're about 450,000 counts per minute. So pretty close. If I bring it in closer, about an inch away, okay, I'm dead on, and it just pegs the, pegs the needle. Just like it does on the bike run, 3M3. Three three. Pretty close in performance. Quite amazing. Especially when you consider you can pick one of these things up for about oh three four hundred dollars plus a PMT a little bit of know-how and you could have a pretty screaming count rate detector if you need to do gamma spectroscopy I wouldn't say this is the probe for you if you need to detect radioactive materials in a junkyard 
and set this up on top of a conveyor belt, that's a pretty cheap way to do it. If you need portability though, and you need performance, and you need gamma spectroscopy, I think the winner is still the 3M3 Bicron. Well, that's it for the test. Hope you had fun watching.